I use ChatGPT to read and remember any book in minutes. I used to be an avid reader. I'd normally shoot for a book a week. Sometimes I accomplished that. Sometimes I didn't. Disclaimer. These books I'm referring to are not fiction. Practical application books only. Business books. Self-improvement. Etc. I know. It's a little nerdy. If the main goal is to learn new things from profound books and apply them in your own life, ChatGPT is your best friend. When ChatGPT came out, I still kept reading like usual. I tried to get it to distill books for me. But I couldn't remember anything. Until I figured out a series of prompts that solved this for me. It distilled everything down to five-minute read and most importantly, I could actually retain the information. Here's how it goes. X200B. Prompt 1. Please summarize book by author. Prompt 2. What are all of the chapters in the book? From here, I pick out chapters that provided the best teachings based on what I want to learn. Prompt 3 in best chapter. What are the most important 20 of learnings about insert learning objective that will help me understand 80 of it? At this point, we've got the most important points from the chapter. Based on what you want to get out of it. No fluff. Now we're going to use a scientifically proven way to remember it all. Prompt 4 Convert those key lessons from the chapter into engaging stories and metaphors to aid my memorization. X200B ChatGPT will split out easy to understand stories that make it super simple to remember what you've just read. X200B Optional prompt 5 Write me an action list of how I can apply key lesson into place you want to apply it. On this prompt, provide any valuable background knowledge on the current situation or struggles that you're hoping to improve on in your application area. X200B Hope this helps. This definitely does not apply to reading for pleasure. But if you're reading for personal growth or with an objective in mind, this is an amazing prompt sequence I can't recommend enough. P.S. If you like this stuff, I write a free newsletter that breaks down tips, tricks, and stuff like this every week. Be careful. You're going to get hallucinations and incorrect information from this method. Try it out with books you've already read yourself. And you'll find that the specific details from ChatGPT are often either incorrect or completely made up. ChatGPT is not a reliable source of factual information. This isn't reading a book. This is reading a summary of a book. Calling the bulk of any author's work on a book fluff is missing the whole point of that author. Writing a book instead of a blog post. You're not reading the books. Misleading title. I was trying to use it in a similar manner the other day to help me focus on studying a rather large, common, textbook. It gave me great suggestions about what chapters to read for the subjects I was looking for. Only problem was that it completely made up the chapter titles and chapter numbers. Completely useless as an assistive aid to studying in my experience. B.S. Ever since ChatGPT came out I keep seeing these amazing way to use AI type of posts. But they're always in this format. Simple. Concise. Cut down to the bone. And take what I am saying as fact. Because I assertively make it sound plausible. And it is revolutionary. The thing is that they're usually on LinkedIn. Please don't taint my Reddit as well. 
This is so fucking stupid. I found that for me reading a book is not information only but your musings that come to your mind during reading. So, there is no way to make the process better. On the other hand, if you do not care about the info and need it only for some purposes such as university exams, certifications, and so on, your way is a great option. You still didn't read the book though. Be careful buddy. Edit always the newsletter. Modern day cliff notes for the person who wants to brag about all the self-help books he reads. But doesn't want to actually have to read them. I'm sorry this is terrible advice for a bunch of reasons. Most prominent being that you will get hallucinations and can't trust what you are learning. I've asked it to summarize novels I know pretty well and it doesn't take long for its inner in-spring novelist to come out. Making up characters, plot points and basically coming up with an entirely new book on the fly. This is one of the dumbest applications of AI I have seen so far lol. Even if it were accurately summarizing that information it's not. And the odds of the book being in its training data in the first place is astronomically slim you would still be getting virtually nothing of value from this process that you couldn't get from a Wikipedia summary which is to say not very much. I guess it might work if you give it a PDF of the books first. MFER just read the book. George Costanza wishing he had this so that he didn't have to watch the movie for the book. Ah mano. You'll literally never know what got made up lol. Prompts might as well read make up a book with this title. Great now make up 14 chapter titles. I like the memory tool bit though. Pro tip to the end of every request always add in the voice and style of George Carlin. Yeah as others have pointed out. This is pretty hazardous approach. When I was testing earlier versions of GPT I asked it about Tale of Two Cities it thought it was. New York City. It has improved a bit now with GPT-4 but really it might be better to just copy and paste blocks of text from a known source first and then develop prompts from that. Use Blinkist app. This app is helpful for compact reading. I've had ChatGPT invent chapters for a book for me. With fake summaries. So be sure to double check that. ChatGPT is not the Library of Congress. Many books have not had their entire text trained in full. This might work better on old classics you can find easily. Many books it will not be able to do this without inventing stuff. Society is fucked. LOL. Chat GPT pretends it reads books. This is a pretty obviously terrible idea. Regardless of the efficacy of this technique, it's just an appalling thing to do. You're reducing the world of literature to cardboard facts. Missing all the nuance and beauty. What a way to live crying. Why would you want to absorb more self-help and business books? It will actively make your life worse. They are complete trash. Where is ChatGPT magically getting access to all these books? Congratulations. You've just invented the first step of Fahrenheit 451. Condensing complex texts down to easily digestible blurbs. Ah mano. You'll literally never know what got made up lol. Prompts might as well read make up a book with this title. Great now make up 14 chapter titles. I like the memory tool bit though. Pro tip to the end of every request always add in the voice and style of George Carlin.